Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to Minecraft. At least in a minute. Um, quick update first. In the next two or three weeks, because of a nasty combination of catching a cold last week, which I'm recovering from right now, uh, and also upcoming midterms, I have not had the opportunity to record as much as I would have liked, with the result being that I'm going to miss a few uploads. Uh, I'm definitely going to miss Golden Sun for the next week, this week that is. I'll probably miss it for the next week as well. And I'm sort of hoping I don't miss any Final Fantasy VI. I have a larger, I have more uh, episodes recorded for that. Like, I have a larger buffer for that, so... I'm sort of hoping it carries me to the point where I can record and edit more of them. Uh, but it's possible I'll have sh a short week before that happens. In any case, Minecraft. Oh, let's be walking. This time around, I'm going to give you a tour of the danger sign. No, but we are going to disobey the danger sign and enter. At which point, I will go into my options and turn up my brightness. I think this place looks much better when it's all dark, but that said, it's going to be impossible for you to see at anything if I have my brightness turned all the way down. Um, because that's just what happens when I record Minecraft, I've learned. So, this is the entrance to the Undercity. The main entrance, that is. That just opened up some stairs. And this opens up some more. Hmm, we're already pretty far down. And another lever? But there's also something over here. It is sort of a viewing room, I guess. Underwater. Uh, a little leaky, where we can look out and see the ocean. Um, plus, of course, an airlock to make sure that it doesn't flood anything. But no, we need to go deeper. Much deeper. And, hmm, what's in here? Not much, just a fire in the middle of the place, a little dirt, and a lever for the door. Ah, let's not get stuck. A little bit of light, a pit down there, which is... Um... No, there is no way up if you fall down here. That's good to know. Uh, let's let's just pretend that didn't happen. Um, but no, there's only one obvious thing to do from here. Throw the final switch and enter the lower city, undercity. I mean, the undercity. It's the undercity. Now, one thing you'll notice down here is that it's really dark and kind of a little bit claustrophobic. Honestly, it should be more claustrophobic, but. You know, there's claustrophobic as a theme, and then there's claustro claustrophobic as in, this is uncomfortable to walk around in. Uh, anyway. It's a tunnel. It's the first tunnel of many. It's pretty far underground. And there's rooms, like this one. This is sort of a bad example. Why are there lights in the ceiling? Do these turn on? Nope. But the door closes. And, not a real bed, just sort of a... Well, this is cotton, actually, but what it should be, now that I have the ability to do this, I haven't gone around and changed anything down here since it happened, but I have carpets now. So I, all of these bed rolls should be carpets, I think. But, you know, it still provides basically the same aesthetic, so whatever.
a lot of doors like this, where it is a simple switch, but the door is always made of metal. And here we can look down into whatever the hell this is. Uh, ooh. That's... That looks sort of like a bed. But what a weird structure. I don't even know what this is, is all about, to be honest. Ooh, lava. That's going to be dangerous. I'll tell you what shouldn't be here, though, and that's the wood. Because here's the thing. I'm pretty sure this, these four, five blocks are the only wood in the whole damn place. There is no wood. A key part of the aesthetic for the Undercity is that there's no wood anywhere. It's a, which does leave the question of what exactly the burning and all the fires, but, you know, don't think about it too hard. Another thing about the Undercity, it's actually quite dangerous. We have Zombo here, but you can also get creepers down here, and, well, I wouldn't want to be around if a creeper blew up. Let's just put it that way. Nothing in there, I guess. I guess technically the box is made out of wood, but, you know, like, it's not like I can do anything about that. Also, wooden door. Huh. You know, whatever. Um, another thing you might notice is that there aren't any signs down here. There's a few reasons for that. A big part of it is a safety thing. If there were signs down here, it, they would be hard to read, but also it would be way too easy for you to get yourself blown up. And by extension, get my place blown up. Because you weren't paying attention. Now this is an interesting room. It locks out here, and it locks in here, because it's basically a metal prison. And the only light source in here, although it's sort of hard to tell because it, uh, my brain is turned way up. At least it's hard for me to tell. It might look fine for you. But this is the only light source in here, and it's actually basically pitch black without it being on. Um, which I guess brings us to this. This is actually one of the newer wings of the lower city, which as is, I think, a little bit obvious because the tunnel is so damn big. Because, uh, well, because I was playing around with world edit, is what happened. So, the tunnel is quite a bit larger than it really should be, probably. What is over here? Uh, fire and, ooh, it's a secret exit. The first of many. Where is this anyway? Ah, it is below the big gold tower. Hmm. Sorry I'm not being more enthusiastic, by the way. I would really like to be and be playing the, this up a lot, but, well, first of all, it's a, it's a little bit difficult to get excited at oh, extremely much over something that you have spent like countless hours working on it's like you you can be proud and what anyway but more to the point i cannot really express myself too loudly or ecstatically because my throat is recovering honestly i shouldn't even be recording this right now but i wanted to um explain my situ. i wanted to explain what was going on for the next few weeks and i wanted to an excuse to do this uh, what is in here? Very little. It seems wet, though. Ooh, now this is an interesting place. It is... It is some nice semi-natural light with a forge. Huh. Right, that's not supposed to actually close. Um... But yes, with a forge, with enchanted stuff. And there's nothing in there. Oh, I have stuff in my inventory, though. Where did this come from? Throw it into the fire! Um... Wait. King's Slayer? Yeah, that sounds right. I thought I needed my sword something else, though. Whatever. But yes, we have here one of those rare parts in the Undercity where you find something more than refugees and criminals.
a seemingly self-exiled blacksmith, peerless among his peers, um, who came here for reasons unknown to practice his craft. No one dares mess with him, because, you know, he makes all the biggest weapons. All the biggest and the baddest weapons. Um, yeah. And if we go further over here, I believe there's one more thing. There is a much more crowded air... There's another much more crowded airlock, which I believe this is... If you can see that right there, that is the wooden bridge in the industrial district, if you remember what, where that was. And of course this door does have a closing mechanism somewhere, I think. Well, I don't remember where it is, but presumably the door closes. Um... Oh wait, no, I remember now. No, this door is faulty. Deliberately so, incidentally, but it's stuck open, is what's going on there. So, good thing it does isn't flooding. It also sounds like it's raining up above. I wonder if I can disable that. Um... No. Definitely not. It, maybe it's in multiplayer. No, I was just in there. Let's see. No, you cannot turn off weather. Oh well. That's... Wait a second. No, wait. I want... Okay. No, I can't. I could have sworn there was a... S whatever. I'm imagining things, obviously. Things that don't exist, but would make it, it much more convenient to record Minecraft. Things like the ability to turn off rain. Yo. So, another thing you'll notice about the Undercity is it's sort of structured differently than the other layers. It is much more, um, mazy, I guess you could say. It's, e it's a lot easier to get lost down here. Uh, although, having said that, I think you would still be hard-pressed to actually get lost. There are a lot more routes to go down. Sin hidden secret area, by the way. Um, not really. But most of them are fairly straight. That said, let's go over here. This part of the Undercity is special in that this is the re-excavated and repurposed um, tunnels from a major asshole who thought it would be a good idea to, well, build a tunnel network underneath my city in the most obnoxious way possible. He's not around anymore, but he cut out a lot of tunnels and it seemed a waste to let them, well, go to waste. So I spent quite a lot of time cleaning them out and sprucing them up and blocking them off as the case may be. Incidentally, there's also a secret exit here. Also pipes, which I don't think were in the last t uh, video I did. Because there's more pipes here now. This was, incidentally, the entrance to, his tunnel, to that asshole's tunnel network. He was an ass, but credit where it's due. This is a good place for a secret entrance. Anyway, let's explore a bit more. We Here we have a double door, so you can lock someone out and you can lock someone in. And inside it's a, it's actually a pretty basic potion setup. That's empty. This should probably have potion ingredients in it, but man, I don't know the first thing about making potions. Not the first thing. Just water. Yeah. I just get other people to do it for me, to be honest. It's just not my forte. But this is, room is basically explosion proof. 
So I guess the person using this lab was worried about exploding. Or at least the person who built the lab was. Let's see. This is just a big empty room with nothing in it. But it does connect to more hallways. Uh, I should probably put something in here, actually. It's big enough I could put something in here. I just haven't. Nothing up here, right? Nope. Anyway. Anyway, there is stuff up here. Stuff like... Another secret exit. This one is right beside the... Wheat field. In the lower city. More underneath, I suppose, but close enough to it. Um, right, that's just a room. But there's also this. Yet another secret exit. Which seems to be on the edge of the redstone... Plane? Field? Hills? Whatever the hell I called this place. Also quite close to there. Although this one is one way. I like the rain much better when I'm not in it. Definitely one of the advantages of doing the far underground recording is that I don't need to put up with that as much. This is just a bet. Although I still need to put up with it surprisingly often. And here we have yet another um, airlock. This one I believe looks out into the lake yeah, it does, because the diamond there, which you hopefully can see, is the support structure for the ice ring. And airlock. And down we go. Just a straight drop. It's a redstone room. Specifically, I believe this is where I was developing different types of clocks. Um, comparator powered clock. That's just the off switch. This is actually really a uh, really clever use that I came up with. There's the piston power clock, which I also came up with, which is kind of shit, because everything that's piston powered is really glitchy and not very good. You see what I mean? You it's not even working properly. Oh, actually, it's working properly. It is working properly. My mistake. Still, it's slow, and it's prone to bugs because it's piston-powered. Then we have this thing, which I didn't come up with, but a friend of mine did. It's... One, two, three... It is the most compact setting, or system, if just. Uh, and... It is a dis... Wait, what are these called? Hopper? Yeah, it's a hopper-powered clock. And this is computing stuff, by the way, in case you're wondering. Also, the clock is powered by a clock. Because, you know, you gotta go for the extra pun. Anyway... Redstone aside, let's zoom back over here, uh, nothing over there, but there is stuff, wait, what's in here? Right. The answer is a hole full of furnaces. Don't ask me why there's a hole full of furnaces, I couldn't tell you, it just seemed like the thing to do at the time. Um, where, here is where I want to go next. Because there's stuff here. There's stuff like a staircase and also and also an exit. An exit that leads out into one of those big holes surrounded by chain fence. And really this is sort of a one-way thing. If you fell down here you could get in, but you certainly can't climb out. Um, yeah. Although you might be able to swim out, come to think of it. I'm not even sure. Wait, is there a thing here? What is this? 
What is this? Oh, you know what? I think this is probably another tunnel left over that got uncovered. I didn't even realize it was here. You see, this is what I mean when about assholes digging tunnels under my city. It causes problems. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. I guess you can swim out. Hmm. Anyway, let's go back inside. Down here is... Okay, well, I guess a bookshelf... Okay, I guess there is technically a little bit of wood here. There was a dungeon here, I think. There was also some enchanting stuff. So now there's still some enchanting stuff. And some beds and stuff. And also lava. Um, There are the staircases from before. And let's see. Was there something down here? I think there was. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Well, whatever. Um... I could have sworn there was one more thing, though. Oh well. It's not- must- it mustn't be important. Hmm. Oh, you know, I think I know what I'm thinking of. There- this, right here, there's a window into a room that we cannot reach. But it's right here. Which is where the place starts getting a little bit mezzy. 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 What even is that? I don't know. Now we can climb back down, but there's one more thing to show first. Stairs! Sort of. A little bit dangerous stairs, to be honest. But if you climb all the way up... It's a little hatch at the base of a tower. That goes all the way down. And of course, it's worth what I didn't mention coming in is that this whole area has a door for the extra bit of safety. Now then, next I guess is this area, which is as it states under construction. This is the newest area in the whole place. It can also be sealed off. But let's go and look. Jump. This hallway is a little bit too long, I think. But it needs to cover a lot of places. It's going across one of the thicker parts of the island, all the way to the other side. And it runs in sort of this mine shaft thing here, where I put some things in here. And I sort of block stuff, some stuff off. There's some water there. I just clean it up, generally. Uh, one door. I guess there was a cave-in back here. That's what it looks like anyway. And... There's a whole lot of flooding. Wow, a whole lot. Even more flooding. This pl whole place is just completely flooded. And these are a this is an actual, like, Minecraft-generated mineshaft down here. Which is why it's all unlit and flooded. So, yeah. I try to keep the parts that I've worked on at least a little bit obvious. With varying success, it must be said. You know, I don't think this should be flowing like this, to be honest. Oh well. Lava. And... ooh, carrots. And more bedding. Now then. I didn't go down here, but... There's not much down here. There's a little bit of light, and more cave-in. Or, if you can even call this a cave-in, this is more of a cave-end than a cave-in. And a whole lot of flooding. Um, because, you know, that's what happens when you build a mine shaft under the ocean. A lot of this flooding was actually me cleaning up, to be honest. Like, there are definitely places where I made it bigger, but there's a lot of places where I, where there was m even more flooding 
that I actually cleaned up. And this section leads to an underwater facility of sorts. Yep, I believe that is the Horn Lion Tower. And over there, you can just... Ba well, I can just barely make out the ship. Maybe you can't. I don't know. And I won't know until I've edited and put this thing on YouTube, really. What is even down here? I don't remember. Oh, there's a cave system down here is what's down here. Okay, then. Doesn't look like there's been much done with this. I wonder what they're building. Or trying to build. Or perhaps mining for. I don't know. There's a lot of thing you, things you can do with a mine shaft, okay? There's also a lot of things you can do with an underwater facility. For example, squashes. Squashes that haven't finished growing yet for some reason. That's sort of annoying. Actually, realistically, they probably haven't finished growing because I didn't bother putting enough light in here for them to grow. Um, realistically, that's probably what the problem is. I should do something about that, but not right now. I digress. And then there are more carrots and also potatoes, and these should be more... Wait. No, no, that's correct. And a whole lot of wheat, some of which isn't growing because there's not enough light. Um, yeah. Although, I don't know what your excuse is. Maybe I just stepped on you. That could happen. But no, that stuff is totally just doesn't have the light. Uh, probably the same thing for you. Although, I might have just stepped on you. Anyway. Anyway! It's not very light down here. Like, just for my own peace of mind, way darker. Like, that's a huge difference. I really wish Minecraft just recorded properly with light levels, but no. Yeah, this is even darker. Yeah, it's easy for me to see now that there's not nearly enough light to grow anything in here. Uh, anyway. Anyway, that just leaves one more tunnel of sorts. This one is an, also quite long with a lot of viewing areas. Look at that dock. Um, and I don't think there's actually anything on the end right now. Yep, it's just the end. The idea being, for in a very practical sense, this thing is built to add a, attach a number of structures such as this one onto it. I've only gotten around to doing the one so far, though. And this is, of course, the sheep breeding zone. <laughs> because why not? Sheeps. And it's actually quite a large dome. To be honest. And I don't think any of these... To give you an idea of how new this underwater section is, I don't think any of it was here... Th when I recorded the thing for the uh, lower city. Uh, which would have been when? Um, about a month and a half ago. Anyway, let's get out of the flooded mine slash underwater part and back into the, to the older sections. Because we still got more to look at. More like empty rooms, but also more like research stations. What? What? What the hell is Squidward doing in there? You know, I better not open it or else Squidward might escape. This opens the way down there, but I don't want Squidward to get out. Um, because he's a bastard who deserves to die. Um, so let's handle this the mature way. 
By dropping a zombie on his face. And that's the sort of research we do in this place. Oh, there's two Squidward's in there. Seriously, how did they get in there? I just don't know. Well, problem taken care of now. And of course you want to lock on the room with the experimentation. Although, to be fair, the lock should probably be on the outside and not the inside. Whatever. Room. Uh, sort of a deck here. But, if we turn around and we climb up the vines, there's a whole lot of mushrooms. But other than mushrooms, there's also something else. Way at the top, there's a hidden room. But not just any hidden room. A hidden room that we have seen before. Which is quite noisy, actually. It didn't used to be noisy. It's probably my own fault. Anyway. Anyway. We can keep going this way. There's an area up there, but there's also stuff down here. Stuff like water! Um, Is there anything back here, actually? There is. There's a cave-in. And fire. And some bedding. And not really much is actually back here. I didn't even remember this was here, actually. This is another one of the newer areas, to be honest. There was probably... I don't even know how long, but for most of the existence of the Undercity, this area was just a cave, dark cave that was nothing in it. But clearly there's something, however trivial, back here now. So you know that's good. Uh, ooh, my light went out. Hmm. Oh well. Um, wait, I've, I've turned myself around. I want to go this way. Up here. That lights out too. Hmm. Up here, we can go to the balcony, or we can keep going up. Room. This is just, uh, oh no, this is the big communal room, which means underground wheat farm. Which is much better lit than the what place is actually built to be a wheat farm, ironically enough. Uh, just freaking things underwater. Just pain in my ass. Anyway, and also there's this, which is another, uh, excuse me, communal room with a big fire pit type thing going on, I suppose. Anyway, another thing that's really big in the Undercity is there's a lot of cave-ins. Like, the whole thing is sort of half-finished, and a lot of that half part happened when it was most of the way done, then they abandoned it, and it collapsed. Um... As is the case down here, where there's a big hole in the floor. And it's sort of just being covered up a little bit with metal bracings on the end, but it's still quite dangerous, a fall. Oh hey, it's a person. Um, room, 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 I could have sworn one of these rooms was cut. Yeah, you see? Like, there's just rubble down here, and fire. But there's also... What is down here? Uh, oh, Mushrooms is what's down here. And also, a hole full of zombies. That's what this is. Oh, I see a creeper, actually. That's even worse. Um... Yeah. But anyway... That is actually quite a drop. I have I have actually seen people fall down here on accident too, so... Oh, here's the collapsed room right here. I knew there was a collapsed room around here somewhere. Um, anyway. Speaking of collapse, staircase. It happens. Let's see... There's a bunch of stuff going on along here. There's a lot of flooding and a few balconies over a really deep pit. Um, which shouldn't really have obsidian on it, but you know, 
well. As you can see, there's a glass roof, and water has fallen down here a few times on accident. In it, in this, in this area's construction and improvements, because this area is not new, but the roof is, at least relatively speaking. Um, was there anything down here? Well, there's a door. Uh, it's just a, it's just a bedroom. Okay. Uh, I feel like there should be something in there. Hmm. And more balconies! And also... Bedroom. I mean, it's not really a bedroom, but let's call it a bedroom for convenience sake. This isn't even a bedroom. It doesn't have a bed in it, man. Come on. You need bedding. Uh, this one doesn't have bedding either. It does have a window, though. Which, speaking of, another looking out area. This one looks out at... Uh, what am I looking at? I believe that's the train route, so that must be the obsidian tier or tear or whatever the hell it's called. And I didn't even bother putting a proper airlock on this one. Man, how lazy. But what I did do way over here is what I call the green room. I think you can figure out why it's called that. You just need one. I figure any underground horror show should have at least one fairly serene location. I mean, if nothing else, it needs an oxygen source. Well, I guess it's underground, so it probably can get some oxygen from above, but even so, ventilation only. It's not like this area is exactly well ventilated, so <laughs> the air quality down here is probably quite poor. Wait, let's look at this properly. Yep, that's serene, all right. Anyway. 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 We still have more to look at. More to see. More to experience with the Undercity and me. Once we get over to it. Uh, we have a few different routes we can go at this point. We can go over there, or we can go over here, or we can go down there. Actually, I think over there can loop back down there, but I don't, don't hold me to that. We'll find out. I don't remember. There's lava here, and why you would ever do this, I don't know, but it's, I think it's pretty clear what was going on here. But we can climb up more vines to reach another level with stuff in it. Stuff like a flooded region that's fenced off, sort of half-acidly. -ac and bedrooms. And also... No, that's another bedroom. Well, it's a bedroom with soul sand, I guess, but it's a bedroom all the same. No, this is the room with... What? Oh, there's a hole in the floor. Uh, this is, like, another sort of... It's sort of like a cactus room, really, which is quite odd if you think about it. But it is an interesting room all the same. What possible purpose could someone have to grow things down here? Actually, that's sort of the nice thing about the Undercity, I think. A room like this, it doesn't need a reason. It exists because someone was insane enough or desperate enough to make it exist. And there's also a escape route here into the harbor. Specifically, this is underneath the, uh, well, underneath the harbor, actually. And... Yeah, there was something over here. Like a balcony! Haha! -ha. And mushrooms! Haha! -ha. And lava and stuff. Bedroom.
Is that a bedroom? Yes. Yes, it is. Wait. Did I just hear a Squidward? I did, didn't I? Oh, by the way. Bedroom. There is yet another escape route here. Yet another hidey hole. This cave underneath the structures, which I think I showed you the when I was doing the Undercity, actually, this area. It, in fact, leads into the Undercity. So there's lots of hidden entrances in here, but there's only one main entrance, you know. But this sort of thing is going to become a thing over time, especially when so much of your city is built in natural cave structures. And this overlooks the most important part of all, the heart of Calopolis, the artificial sun, the huge-ass lava ball. How huge ass, you ask? Well, pretty damn huge. Um. Aha! Wow. Three zombies. Watching a Squidward in a... I think there's... Yeah, there's a Squidward in there. And there's three zombies watching... Okay, this is just... This, I could not have made this up. I mean, I actually have three zombies standing over a research area. That has a Squidward inside of it. Also, the zombies are really loud. Four zombies! All watching the Squidward in the research. Wow. Okay, then. So that just happened. Zombie scientists. For the win. Um. Anyway. Bedroom. That looks like it got walled off for some reason. And here we can go into the sun. Which... As you can see, this is the top of it. It goes down to... Well, let's just put it this way. It is a sphere. It is a more or less perfect sphere. As perfect as anything is in Minecraft, really. This is the top level of it. I'm on... So, 44. It goes down to zero. So, it has an approximate... Uh, so, it has a radius of 22... A diameter of 44, and is completely underground. And is completely lava. It is quite large for what it is. Also, on the other side of here, there's another hole here. Which you may recognize as the very first hole that, in fact, the train yard goes through. Because the train was built relatively recently, and I needed to route it through here somehow. Um, actually, this probably, this probably connects to cave systems I haven't even explored, to be honest. But, anyway, we still have a little bit more stuff to do in the Undercity. We've done most of it now, but not quite all of it. We still need to go over here. Because there's stuff down here, you know? There's stuff like lava and a grass room with a strange number of workbenches. What was I thinking? I don't even know. Um, yeah. I just don't. Whatever. It's not like, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is actually more or less the end of my area. I think. There might be one more thing here. No, there is not. This is just connects to and to the actual cave system. I mean, a lot of this is cave system, but it's cave system that have been carved out and put to a purpose. This is wild caves after here. Um, but what we can do is go over here and under here. Because there's a few more stuff over here. Like lava. But lava we can carefully walk around. I don't know. I think I probably would be on fire if I wasn't in creative mode. No? Not gonna go into the... Whatever. Bedroom. Balcony! <sighs> okay then. I think he's afraid of getting knocked into the lava. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. 
And what is in here anyway? Looks like a bedroom. Okay then. But I think there's still something else down here. There's grass on fire. Uh, there's a portrait room. Huh. Well, okay then. And this is quite a large area. Hmm. Oh, hey, this looks familiar. And that looks hot. Um, this looks familiar, though. It's the windows we were on the other side of before. The other... Excuse me. The other windows, that is. The second windows. And at that point, I think I've just about showed you all there is to see in the Undercity. I hope you enjoyed. I was happy to show it off. Um, now then, I need to... I need to un get myself unlost, um, is what I need to do. But, uh, too far. But, until next time, no, damn it! Stupid flying. Anyway, until next time, when I, in the context of Minecraft at least, when I show off the ship and the noble houses, this has been Let's Check Out Calopolis with Chaos Blue. And if I can stop getting caught on every single bit of geometry, haha, -ha, and have a good day. Bye!